Alright ladies and gents, welcome to a very short video on the AutoCAD web app, okay? Uh, this video is basically just going to cover how to fix your web app if it's not loading a document, alright? So let's go to web.autocad.com and right off the bat, if you're having issues with clicking on one of your files, okay, or starting a new drawing, and if you click on it, and it gets to this point where the wheels start spinning at the bottom and then it gets to the last one and it'll say like, you know, retry or can't connect or whatever it is. Uh, this solution is probably for you. The only thing that we can't fix is if your internet is very slow at home. Okay, so if it's slow at home, a lot of times it won't load. Um, and you'll know that if you go into speedtest.net and you can hit go and run a speed test on your computer. And you'll see that you get a download speed and an upload speed. Uh, in the school here, our download speed is very fast, obviously, as you can see. Um, and it'll go through that, and then it'll start doing the upload speed, which is equally as important when you're trying to send data over the Internet. So you'll see that our upload speed here is also very fast. I didn't realize that, but that's very good. Um, your download speed and your upload speed should really be more than 10 megabits per second, um, probably for both. So if it's less than 10 on the upload or download, you pr that's probably why you're having issues, okay? Now, outside of that, there is another issue that's happening for people that it won't load for, and I'm gonna explain that in this video. Um, there are two things that you have to do. Number one, you're gonna do Control, Shift, Delete on your keyboard, and that's gonna bring up your browser history. You're gonna go to Advanced. Uh, if you're a student, you're not going to be able to clear the browsing history or the download history. It won't let you because the school uh, runs that stuff, um, you know, like on their network, I guess. But you can clear the cookies. You can clear the cache. Um, I wouldn't do passwords because that makes your life easier. I wouldn't do the autofill form data. But you can do site settings and you could do hosted app data. Okay, and you hit clear. Now make sure you go to advanced for this. Clear. Now, I would then try the web app again and see if that works. If that does not work, then here's the fix for that. What happens is when you, especially if you're going to and from school, so this is mostly for my students that are having this issue. If you're going to and from school and you're signed into your browser up here and it says sync is on, it's trying to sync your stuff from home to school and from school to home. And that's a problem and it's causing an issue with the AutoCAD web app. So here's what you do. If you click on where it says sync and sync is on uh, and you hit now, I would do this at school. Um, I wouldn't do this at home. But if you're having the home issues as well, then try it and see what happens. Uh, try to turn your sync off temporarily. And that'll stop syncing like your toolbars and, and your history and all that good stuff. And then try to go into the web app again and see if that uh, I'm sorry, go into clearing again, uh, clear anything that's in there, clear data and then go into the web app again and see what happens, okay? So that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to cover. Make sure, obviously, that you go back in and you turn your sync on uh, when you're done because you probably do want, you know, it does make your life easier to have, like, all your bookmarks in one place and all that good stuff. But maybe you just turn it off temporarily while you're using the web app, all right? So that's it. That's what I wanted to show, and I appreciate you guys watching this one, and I will see you in our next tutorial. Later. Gotta catch them all.